The Vans collaboration with Jound on the skate mid Vans vault. I really do feel like, at least for someone like myself, who doesn't wear a lot of loud colors, who doesn't wear like a lot of graphics, this is probably the sneaker for you. Is this worth the extra price point? Stay tuned to find out. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Luigi back at it again with another sneaker review. And yes, I'm officially back from my much needed hiatus. I took a little break to kind of focus on making some good high quality reels. I hope you guys enjoyed them as much as I liked making them. But we're officially back with the sneaker reviews. I know how much you guys really like them and I know how much you guys love Van sneakers for some reason. You guys love them. If you guys are willing to keep watching them, I'm gonna keep making them for you. If it's your first time checking out my channel and if you guys enjoy this type of content, if you like van sneaker reviews and if you've come to the right place hit that subscribe button hit that like button and if you guys want you can follow me on my instagram uh, underscore luigi starting off with the box now first things first this is a vans vault so if you guys are unfamiliar with the vans vault line it's pretty much a more premium version of like the regular vans models they just have more premium material you're basically just getting a better version of the sneaker that you're used to buying so this is a vans vault collaboration with jown on the skate mid and the box is really cool too it does say vans vault right here you have jown on the side right here and this nice like metallic print right here very nice it does say jown all over big shout out to vans vault and jown man just even though it's a simple box i i just think it looks freaking great and this sneaker we have to review today is the Vans Vault collaboration with Jown on the Skate Mid. This right here is the perfect sneaker. If you think of like the most perfect fall outfit, whether you're wearing brown tones, beige tones, you throw this sneaker with pretty much just any fall outfit and it just completes the whole look. It's a mid which fits freaking perfect. It's not super high cut like the skate highs. It's not a low top. For the spring and summertime, I usually like to wear a lot of low tops, but when it comes to the fall and the winter, I'm in mid tops or even high tops and this is perfect for the fall weather right here. You know, I'm from Jersey and over here it's starting to get a little bit cold and this is going to be pretty much my staple for every outfit just going forward. First thing that we're going to discuss is the colorway of the sneaker. Now, the official colorway name for this is True White and that's the most honest colorway name ever because that's honestly just what it is. I like the colorway just because there's different variations of beige. It's pretty much just made of like white, beige and just different more beiges even down to the laces just so clean man just looks really good the beige laces just really play with all the other shades of the sneaker i'm wearing beige like just all year round it's not just the fall that's pretty much just my go-to color so it was a no-brainer that I was going to cop these. If you're a fan of wearing like beige sneakers or if you're someone who likes, you know, copying like different sneakers for the fall and if you want something different, I highly recommend you gravitate towards these, man. This is a Vans Volt, so you are getting more premium material. So on the sneaker you have right here on the toe box, you have some nice suede right here. It is not the nicest suede, but compared to like the other suede that you find on like a regular pair of like Vans skate mids, it is more of an updated premium material. You do have some more hits of that canvas material right here on the side where everything is, but predominantly the sneaker is just suede you have canvas and on the inside right here on the inner lining you have some more of like that nice plush padded leather just very nice man even down to the tongue you have that very nice like premium suede if you have a little bit of money to spend if you have some extra money to spend too just get the more premium updated version it's gonna last you longer and I always say this you pretty much you get what you pay for so if you pay a little bit more money and you get a more updated version it's definitely gonna last you longer. going into the lateral and the medial side of the sneaker you do have that iconic band stripe going down right here same thing on the other side as well if you guys have owned a pair of vans or if you've seen a pair of vans you know which stripe i'm talking about that iconic van stripe that's going down on the side and under the van stripe right here you do have some more of that nice canvas material right here i have seen on other pairs of skate mids that it's either like leather or it's like suede i do like how they went with the canvas material you know it's just broken up materials like all over the sneaker so it doesn't feel like it's a dull sneaker it doesn't feel like it's just one whole sneaker made of like one whole entire material you know this isn't really talked about as much and you know, I know a lot of people don't really cover this, but from the bird's eye view, from when you have these on your feet and you look down and you see how these look, they just look so clean, man. Even if you were to like just lift up one foot and you see how it like looks from the side when you have your feet tilted up and you see that van stripe, just looks really good, man. And that's another thing too when I look for when I buy a sneaker. I'm like, okay, is this gonna look good when I look down directly at it? Because there are some sneakers that I think look great and then I put them on my feet and I look down on them and I'm just like, what did I buy? These look horrible. And now the sneaker came with two sets of laces. Originally these came factory laced 
with the white laces but i took these out and threw on the beige laces just because they just look a lot cleaner with the beige man just look so clean don't get me wrong they look good with the white laces too but i'm just more of a fan of beige laces most of the time when i get a new pair of sneakers and most of the time they're either beige white or brown i usually throw on cream laces with them they just look better in my opinion and they just kind of go with everything going into the tongue of the sneaker it's basically the same thing that's on the toe box it definitely does feel very premium it is very nice even the inner lining of the tongue too it definitely does feel very premium it doesn't feel cheap at all you know like i said you are spending a little bit more to get a more premium updated version i know it's a little bit more expensive but just basically just kind of have that mindset where it's like you get what you pay for if you spend a little bit more money and you get something really nice it's definitely going to last you a lot more back to have the sneaker right here you do have some more of that suede -ish material going down across you have that iconic Vans tab right here that does say off the wall. It wouldn't be a Vans sneaker if you wouldn't have that iconic back tab, especially that off the wall branding. If you've owned a pair of Vans or if you've seen a pair of Vans, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's pretty much the same thing. You know, they didn't really do too much to the sneaker, but they added a little bit of like small, you know, like details to it to kind of make it a collab sneaker, even though it doesn't really feel like it. I do have like this chunky rubber midsole right here going all across. It definitely does feel very chunky even though the sneaker does look like it's very chunky it feels slim when you put it on it's the same midsole that vans uses on most of their sneakers it's nothing crazy they didn't update it they didn't do anything too crazy i like how they kind of just kept it simple but not really at the same time last but not least we got to talk about the iconic vans outsole this is probably the most recognized outsole in all of sneakers at least in my opinion i know a lot of people will probably say the air force one or the jordan ones or whatever you want to call it i feel like most people if you were to show them this outsole they'd be like okay that's a pair of vans now normally every pair of vans usually has that gum outsole but they went with like a beige it's definitely just a little like different you know it's a little tweak that he kind of did with the sneaker to kind of make it more of like a collab sneaker now when it comes to vans i am the same size whether it's the vans lowlands the old schools, the authentics, the skate highs, the bold nyes, even the new schools, the newest version that just came out. I go true size in all my pair of vans and they fit me all the same. I have yet to try on a pair of vans that fits me different, whether it's the slip-ons. The only difference between this and a skate high is it's a little shorter. That's pretty much just it. And on the skate high, you're getting a little bit more material up top, but that's pretty much just it. They all fit the same. Just go true to size and you should be okay. And just to give my final thoughts on the Vans Volt, skate mid collaboration with jown now i will say this and i feel like i've been kind of saying this all over the video the whole entire video this is a good staple everyday sneaker for your collection whether it's the fall time the springtime the winter time or even the summertime it's such a good beater because it's such a simple and easy color to wear most brands when they come out with a collaboration they come out with like some crazy color looking sneaker and yeah some of them are really cool but it's kind of hard to wear some sneakers sometimes or even just regular sneakers in general that i'm going to be discussing you might have a pair of sneakers and you really like them and you think they're dope but they might be a little hard to wear whether it be the color or just how it looks this sneaker right here is so easy to wear you know you get me it's a pair of vans i mean who doesn't love vans i i know i do i've been wearing them for years and i still continue to wear them if i were to rate these from one to a five i'd give these a five jound absolutely killed it whether you're a fan of his work or not whether you think he barely does anything to sneakers when he collaborates with them this, they just knocked it out of the ballpark with me and I, I highly recommend you guys pick these up if you want a good sneaker to wear this fall season highly recommend these that's pretty much it for my quick little review on the Vans Volt Skate Mid collaboration with Jam. I'm gonna throw these on feet to show you guys how I style these and that will be the end of the video. How do you guys feel about Vans? Are you still rocking Vans in 2023? Whatever you are thinking, comment down below in the comment section so we can chop it up. At the end of the video, if you guys like the on feet, the transition, the angles, make sure you guys show some love to the cameraman on his Instagram at Leon underscore Kev. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, share this video with your friends, with your classmates, pretty much share it with anybody who enjoys Vans, enjoys sneaker reviews as much as we like making them for you guys. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>
Run it, uh, I run the game, yeah, you heard the peace Took the roof off, now it's just cease Yeah, I keep a watch on my enemies Look me in my eyes, we are not the same, you heard the peace Yeah, I run the game, yeah, you heard the peace Took the roof off, now it's just cease Yeah, I keep a watch on my enemies Look me in my eyes, we are not the same